All right, here is a quick video of how to get up and running in analog mode to receive, just receive, uh, stations with the GD77 Radio Oddity Radio. Um, it does digital and analog, but I'm just gonna show analog just to use it very simply. Uh, so the goal here is just to go in analog regular mode uh, and scan for frequencies. This radio has a lot of capabilities. I had an issue getting it up and running. Okay, so um, it has digital and analog mode, and so you'll see the screen, and what you wanna do is use these buttons to go to the top, see how it's the top column? Go to that top row, I mean, okay? And then I'm gonna make sure that sine wave is right there, that smooth wave, that means it's an analog. So if it's like there, okay, you wanna hit this button until you get that, right? Um, and that's how now you're in regular old school analog mode. Um, so you can listen to frequencies. So what frequencies can this radio cover? Um, 130 to 180, which is VHF. You can also cover 390 to 4, 520 about, probably less than that, which is called UHF, which is great, but what can you listen to? Um, so the easiest thing just to pick up would probably, anywhere you are, in America anyways, would be national weather and emergency broadcasts. And those um, are around 160s uh, usually. So in San Francisco, it's 162.4. So I'll try that. With uh, the arrow pointing there, I'm gonna go 1624 and just put in a bunch of zeros. 11 seconds. There we go. At Monterey Bay, we winds northwest eight knots. Water temperature 57, pressure 1009.4 so millibars. A very strong broadcast, and you can get it anywhere. Every 10 seconds. Head point, sir. Wave rider buoy water okay. temperature. So, so, what if you're not uh, in San Francisco? Let's say you're in Tennessee or anywhere. A lot of places, you can Google it, but they usually start at around 160. And so this is how to scan. Let's say you, you're in an area and you don't know what the weather is, or um, the NOAA station frequency. What you can do with this radio is make sure you're in that analog mode. Go to 160. Whoops. Take that off. Uh, where is zero? There it is. You just start out at 160, okay, which isn't anything. Okay, I'm going to hit this button right here, the second up button, or middle button. And that's going to start scanning. And so that's going to scan up. Start searching for stations. It's going to take a second because it's going to go up to 162. Um, if you hit, a, if you want to pass a station, you just hit scan. Use these to scan up and scan down. Stop it. Go up. Go down. It's got 161 right now. I'm in San Francisco, so it should stop at 162.4. There you go. Winds will diminish. So this would be great because if I was in the middle of nowhere, I could pick up the weather station. And this is basically everywhere. Um, so how to find stations like I just did. Uh, you can start at the 160s or and scan up, or you can, if you don't know any like about any of the frequencies where you are, you can just start anywhere in you know 130 or anywhere. And just um, for example, if you have no idea where you're scanning from, 130. If this thing does work, whoops, one, four, there we go, okay. So I don't like, if I want to scan from 140 up, that's fine, so I'm going to hit the, that scan up button. It's going to start looking for anything to listen to. It could be the radio, national weather, it could be police stations, it could be local ham amateurs broadcasting, um, so that's one thing. Uh, another thing you can listen to is the emergency bands, like police, law enforcement. Um, that's pretty neat. Um, depending on where you are, um, in San Francisco, they broadcast at 880 megahertz up, so this radio cannot uh, cannot receive it. Uh, but in a lot of rural areas, um, or not rural, I shouldn't say, just not um, San Francisco, I've been in like up in Napa, I think, they have... Um, their police frequency on the 160s or the 460s. So let's say you're in Tennessee, Murfreesboro, Tennessee. You can look it up on the internet. You just say Google search, um, you know, police frequency. Oh, 
fit something. I'll keep scanning. Um, you can find these on the internet. You just Google search your town and say police frequency, and then you'll, it's just there. So in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, it's 460-050. So if I was in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, I don't have to switch modes or anything. This top line can do both. It can go the one, 100 series and go up to the 400 megahertz real quick. So I'm gonna try to get this, even though it won't work. I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna enter it. I'm gonna go four, uh, six, zero, zero, whoop, fuck. zero, five, zero. Okay. All right, and that's nothing because I'm in San Francisco, not in Tennessee, but that would probably pull up Law Dispatch in Tennessee and I could listen to them. Um, and you can go to different frequencies. Um, you can search them. Look, if you go here, and so this is the Rutherford County Emergency. So they have like a law dispatch, and I just Google search this, and it gives you all of their frequencies. You can listen to all this stuff, and you can just do it by scanning. You can go below and then just hit this button and scan to it. Um, you can also go on um, ham radio, uh, amateur radio, because this don't transmit if you don't have a license, but this thing can just transmit. I'll go into that in another video. Um, but say you just want to listen to the other amateur radio operators that are perhaps using one of these to talk, talk to other people. They, they sometimes do it through a repeater, which is just a stronger a repeat. It repeats and broadcasts it as a higher or stronger uh, power. So to find your local repeaters, you can go to this website, repeaterbook.com, and enter where you are. See, so I went to Murfreesboro, which is in Rutherford County. And there's two repeaters there. One's in Murfreesboro and the other one's in Laverne. And they're lo both located around 145. So if I want to see if there's any activity on there, I would just go 145000 or enter it directly. I'm going to scan up. Turn the volume up. 